Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you didn't catch my last vlog, I put up most of my Halloween decor, at least all the Halloween decor that I had. And if you saw my last crafting video, you saw that I already started making some of my own spooky decor myself. So with that being said, I thought it'd be really cool to show you guys how I make some of these really cool like apothecary style Halloween decor. So all of these were just like bottles and I put my own like labels on them. Um, some of these like my mom made and gave to me like this one she like already had this and she got these Labels and put it on and then glued these little flies on there because that's perfect for frog syrup, right? <laughs> and then obviously some of these other ones I bought as is like this one I bought as is but with some of this other stuff It was just stuff that I thought looked cool and I put my own labels on it and then put my own decor in them to kind of match with the labels like whatever was on there so i thought it'd be cool to show you guys how i make some of these by making some more and adding to my collection because i want to add some more of these apothecary bottles over here and i think i want to add some to my entertainment center because i have two bookshelves beside my entertainment center well it's like a whole piece um, so I thought it'd be cool to kind of decorate that with some of this apothecary stuff. Okay, so see these are the bookshelves that are like attached to my entertainment center. I just have some like regular decor and stuff on them. So of course I thought it'd be cool to like, you know, add to my collection, make some more, make a tutorial for any of those that are wondering how I made those. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I make that now and show you all of the goodies that I bought today so that we can make our own. Okay guys, so here is everything I bought, but basically I got this ribbon from Joann's and everything else on this table is from Target and Dollar Tree. So I bought all these books from Dollar Tree. These are all hardback books. I'm gonna take the paper cover off and I'm going to paint these books. Um, just like darker colors, you know, like a dark purple, black, gray, you know, like Halloween kind of themed. And then I'm gonna tie this pretty ribbon that I got from Joann's around it. Um, and that'll be cool to go on a shelf. And then I also bought this like spider web with spiders in it. Um, normally people like spread this like all over their house or on the outside of their house to make like a giant spider web. I'm actually just gonna be taking a little bit of this, putting it in a jar with some spiders, and then I'll use the rest somewhere else in the house. So this I'm actually using for two different projects. So that's always nice. I also bought these eyeballs. They feel like ping pong balls. Um, I thought that'd be a cool jar filler. I bought some red wax to melt over some of our apothecary bottles. I thought that'd be kind of cool. Here's some more spiders that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna put them in with the spider web over here. But I like these because they aren't just like your basic little plastic spiders. These are like pretty black and green glittered spiders so I had to get those and i also got this box from the toy section at the dollar tree it says reptiles which is funny because like there's no reptiles in here it has like a grasshopper a centipede like a praying mantis a fly some other like bugs insects in there so i'm going to spray paint these like black and brown whatever um and those will also be some jar fillers and then i got this pack of plastic bones so i thought that would be perfect for some this was in the like floral crafty section at dollar tree it's just like a little bottle that has a little cork in it it has a little twine already around it and it has these like little snail shells or something so I thought that looked kind of cool and that was like perfect, like as is. I just need to like add a label to it or something. Then I also bought this plastic little bottle thing from the Dollar Tree in the crafting section. And I also got all of these jars right here from the Dollar Tree also. And then last but not least from the Dollar Tree, I bought this like beetle thing. I found it in the toy section. It's pretty good size as you can see. So I thought that would be cool to kind of go in a jar. And then from Target, I found a lot of this stuff in the dollar spot. I got this cute little snake. This was $3 from the dollar spot. I don't like that it's pink and gray. Like I think it's cute, but it doesn't match the stuff over there. So I think I'm gonna spray paint this black and then I might paint like it's little diamonds, like gold or 
red or something i don't know and then i also found these in the dollar spot these are some bats some of them are black some of them are like neon colors so i'm obviously going to spray paint the neon ones and same thing with these little mice over here some of them are black some of them are neon i'm going to spray paint the neon ones black to match then i also found these in the dollar spot these were all a dollar a piece and they're perfect little apothecary bottles they have like ribbon and twine on them they're already labeled and i could just like leave these as is because they have stuff that like matches what's on the label so like this says bat wings and it literally has bat sequins in here so i got a couple of these because i think some of these will be cool to like leave as is and i also got these jars they were five dollars for a pack of two pretty decent size so i got those i also got these bottles they were a pack of two and they were three dollars so i'm definitely gonna pour some like wax over these and like i'll probably do like you know like some kind of potion or something label on it and then i also found these in the dollar spot these were all a dollar so i thought these were perfect so i got one of each of those could not pass those up and then lastly in the dollar spot i found this like tiered stacker it was like five dollars um, so I thought this was perfect to set some of these apothecary bottles just to kind of stack them up and it might just be like a really cool display whether it's over here on this hutch or I put it on my entertainment center in the other room. I also found this cool like tiered tray thing from Target. This was in the regular Halloween section. I think this was like $15. But I just thought it was really cool. It has three tiers. It has like a like spooky kind of like haunted fence and like a raven on the top. So I thought that was really cool. And then I also got this from the Halloween section at Target. It was only $10, but it's just like a really cool globe thing. And it has like these little claw feet and it has like a little bat handle on the top. I just thought that'd be really cool to decorate. Okay guys, so now that I've showed you all the stuff that we're gonna be putting in the jars and I've showed you all the jars, I'm gonna go ahead and take all the stuff that I need to spray paint outside and spray paint it. And while those are drying, we'll come back inside and I'll show you how you can get your own labels and print them out for all your different jars and stuff. Okay guys, so I have all my stuff laid out on some paper just in my grass in my backyard. And I'm using some ultra matte black spray paint and I'm just gonna spray paint all of this. So I am upstairs in my craft room and I am ready to show you guys how to get these labels for your apothecary bottles. So sometimes you can find some like at Michael's and stuff, um, like they'll already have them like pre-made for you, but I like very rarely see pre-made labels anymore. There are some Etsy sellers online that sell pre-made labels, but there's way more that sell digital download labels. And as you can see, they're super cheap. Um, so then all you have to do is cut them out. So you can either print these out on regular paper and cut them out by hand. You can print them out on regular paper and cut them out on your Cricut. Or you can print them out on like printable sticker paper, printable vinyl, whatever, and cut them out by hand or on your Cricut and then they're sticky on the back and then you don't have to Mod Podge them to your bottles or jars or whatever you're putting your labels on. So I just wanted to point that out, but I found these really cool ones from Style 24 Designs on Etsy. Um, so as you can see here, they have 33 different Halloween vintage apothecary labels. Um, and right now they're 30% off, so they're only 272. They are regularly 389. I would still pay 389 for 33 different labels. And these like look really cool, I'll show you guys. Look how cool these labels look. I love like the mushroom one and the bat one. Oh, the raven. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy these, download these, and I'm going to print them out on some sticker paper so that I can just stick them right on my bottles. But if you're super artistic um, like I am and you have an iPad, you could just draw your own labels and print them out or whatever, and then you don't have to spend any money on them, which I could do, but I do not feel like designing anything today. These are already done. I love these designs. I think they're amazing. And for only $2.72 for 33 different ones, why 
I not support a small business and get these? So I'm just going to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and check out and then I'm going to show you guys how I print these and cut these out with my Cricut and all that. Okay, so I just checked out and literally right away you have access to them. So I just wanted to show you guys in case any of you guys are kind of like skeptical with digital downloads or maybe you just have never purchased a digital download just to show you guys how easy it is. Literally, I just checked out. I was emailed the link um, to download them. This is on Etsy. Like you get your link. Um, it has your order number and everything. Um, but these are all the files that I got. So for $2.79, these are all the labels that I got. So you just click download and then they're going to pop up here and then they're ready to print off. So I'm just going to like minimize these, download all of them. So I have them all like ready to go and pulled up. Okay. So I'm going to go to upload, upload image, browse, and I'm going to do these labels. So I'm going to hit open complex and continue. And I always like zoom out as much as I can. And I like to crop down my image first. Do my little wand, erase the background so it actually cuts out the labels. Continue, print and then cut, and upload. And they're gonna be big. And remember, you can't print more than 6.75 wide and 9.25 long. So that's as big as these can go. So now I'm gonna hit make. And I know it looks like it's way bigger than the 6.75, but that's because there's obviously a space here, there's a space here that they account for. So if they shrunk all that down, it would be on our regular margins that we're supposed to be printing and cutting at. I haven't asked that before, so I did wanna clarify that. So I'm just gonna hit continue, send to printer. I already have some sticker paper loaded into my printer, which I will link down below for you guys. And I always add bleed just in case so there's not any like white space or anything if it cuts a little off center. So I'm gonna hit print and then it's gonna start printing on my printer. Now I'm using an HP DeskJet 3755 as you can see over here and it prints out pretty decent images. I was kind of worried at the quality that this printer was going to print out, but as you can see, they are not terrible at all. Okay, so now I'm going to put this down on my mat. Okay, so I'm going to take my labels. I'm going to line up the corner of my paper with the corner of where the grid starts on my mat. And then I just rub it flat. So I'm going to load my mat into my Cricut Maker. And then I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna select printable sticker paper as my material because that's what we are using. Okay, so then I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna hit cut so we can start cutting out our labels. And then I just flip my mat over and kind of curl it and the labels kind of peel themselves off. And then as you can see, we have our beautiful labels here. And just like a regular sticker, you just peel off the backing and it's sticky on our label side. Okay guys, so I am going to paint our books now. So I got all these books from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna take the covers off of them and then we're gonna paint them and make them look, you know, like older, like apothecary style books. Now this one is already black and it has like red metallic lettering on it, the Labyrinth Index. Honestly, this kind of looks like a spooky book anyway, so I'm just gonna leave this one as is, that's perfect.
Okay guys, sorry my camera died, but I went ahead and started decorating the books. So I just used like gold, silver Sharpie, some black and white paint pens, and then just kind of titled and decorated these books. Um, so this one just says Hocus Pocus on it. This one I just put witchcraft and like just kind of scribbled around to decorate it. And then with these two, I put advanced potion recipes and drew some like spider webs. And then on this one, I put spells and enchantments. So I'm just going to use a couple of these just to kind of decorate the books a little bit further. So now our stack of books looks like that. And now I'm going to tie some ribbon around this stack of books only. Okay, so I tied a cute little bow on top. So now this stack of books is all tied up and ready to be displayed. Okay, you guys, so we have printed out our labels. I have everything spray painted and ready to go into our jars. So now what I'm gonna do is kind of like look at all the filler stuff that I have, look at these labels and kind of figure out what label should go on what jars and what can go in where. And then we'll start putting the jars together. And this is some mica powder and I'm just going to pour it into this bottle. And as you can see, it's like coloring the inside of the bottle. So once I add water in this, it's going to look like an actual like potion or something. For this one, this says it's a night owl elixir. This was like one of the ones I got at Target that already had the label on it. So I am just going to pour a little bit of this purple one in here because I thought that would be really pretty. And this other bottle from Target says toxic brain juice, but I already have the zombie virus label and I like this one way better. So I'm gonna put this one on a different jar. So I think for this one, I'm gonna try to peel this label off and I'm gonna put this vampire blood label on it just because I think that looks kind of cool. So I'm gonna attempt to peel this off. And for this one, I'm gonna be using this like dark red, scarlet kind of color. Okay, so I have the zombie virus one, so I decided to put some green mica pigment powder. So I'm gonna show you guys that when you just add water, you have like a whole little potion with the mica pigment powder. So you see how like I just added water and it looks like cool kind of like potion. So I just give it a good shake and then you have like a potion. See how pretty that is?
Okay, so this label says bat blood on it. So I'm gonna light this red candle because it's obviously going to drip with red wax and I'm going to drip it inside of this jar so that I kind of have some like blood smears and then there will be a puddle of red on the bottom and then I'm gonna put the bats back in there. That way it actually looks like there is some bats blood in there. Then I'm going to continue to let the candlestick drip and I think I'm gonna put it on this truth serum bottle and I'm just gonna drip it all over the top just to give it a more spooky look. Okay, so as you can see, I dripped the red wax down all the way around, so it kind of looks like blood is dripping. I think that looks really cool. And then I just let some pile up in the bottom to kind of make it look like there's some fresh blood in the bottom of the jar. So I'm gonna let this cool while I'm doing the other one, and then we'll put the bats back in there when we're done. Okay guys, so here's my bottle. My wax is still really warm, so I'm just gonna lightly press my skin on the top to kind of like flatten it out and not make it so bulky. But just be careful if you choose to do that because it is very warm. Okay, so there is the top of it. As you can see, it's kind of like smoothed over. And then there's our bottle. So I think that just gives it like a nice extra touch. So now this jar should be cooled enough to put our bats back into. There is our bat's blood. So now I'm gonna find some spots for these and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all set up. Okay guys, so I set up the apothecary bottles that we did. I did end up decorating the entertainment center also, so I'm really happy with that. And I put out all of the painted books that we did. So now I'm gonna show you a close-up shot so you can see how everything looks all set up. Okay guys, so here is the first shelf. So here is that tiered display shelf that we got from Target for $5 along with all of our apothecary bottles some old antique books, plus the one from Dollar Tree. And these are just some LED candles I also got from Dollar Tree. They are battery operated. And then on this side, I have some of the other stuff. So I couldn't put away my record player because I do use the hat. So I just put this little tiered Lazy Susan that I got at Target also. And I just put a couple little things on here. And then here is our beautiful stack of books with our pretty ribbon. Our little snake is in there. And then here is the entire cabinet all set up. I did move some stuff around since we did our new apothecary bottles and stuff. I have some LED candles over here as well. And in here I have another LED candle, a little white pumpkin and the beautiful glittered floral skull that I did in one of my last tutorials. And I just put all that in this pretty globe that I got from Target. And here's some of the pretty books that we did along with our apothecary bottles, with our potions in there. I love how that mica pigment powder looks. It's so pretty. And then here is that other tiered tray that we got from Target. 
And I just put some Spanish moss in where I don't have anything just to kind of fill in the space for now. All right, guys, and there you have it. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite decoration is. And as always, if you like this video, please let me know that you liked it by giving me a big thumbs up. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other crafting tutorials. I'll catch you guys in the next one.